All right? Now, in this example, guys, we have this binomial expansion raised to the sixth power. And we're trying to find this fourth term. So the main important thing is what I would recommend doing is most students will do this. Or what they'll do is they'll take 1 and they'll raise it to the 0 power. But you got to be careful. It's the first term and that second term, right? But we want to write this the way that I would recommend writing this. This is wrong. You're going to get this wrong every time if this is how you write it. Because what I would do is I would represent this with parentheses. 2x is the first term. Negative 1 is the second term. Right? Because you would, So what I do is if you have a coefficient, put the coefficient and the variable in parentheses. If you have a subtraction, then rewrite it as an addition problem. You don't have to do this, but I'd recommend doing it because it's going to make your life a lot easier and a lot less mistakes. So let's go and look at this with the here. Now remember, just following our rules with the binomial expansion. 2x goes to the sixth, negative 1 to 0, plus 2x to the fifth, negative 1 to the first, plus 2x to the fourth, negative 1 squared, plus 2x cubed, negative 1 cubed. Okay. Now, I, don't, I can stop. I don't need to continue doing this like I did in the last problem. right? They're just asking me for the fourth term. right? And so I don't need to know all this stuff. Um, now, I'm going to have to go ahead and create my binomial expansion. So to the sixth part term, that means I'm going to have seven terms. So let's go and create Pascal's triangle real quick, even though I have it on the board next to me. 5, 10, 10, 5, 1. That was to the fifth, part, fifth, right? 6, 15, 20, 15, 6, 1. And again, guys, remember you're just adding previous terms to get to the next one. So 5 plus 10 is 10. 10 plus 10 is 20. And you can see there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 terms. That's giving you the binomial to the sixth power. And then what's the fourth term? That's the first. That's the second. That's the third. That's the fourth. So 20 is my coefficient of the fourth term. God, I started talking too fast. Does anybody need me? Have any questions or where I got? Yes. Do, do you need me to sign that sheet today? I don't. I don't need to sign it today. Do I? Oh, he may get it back. No, sir. Oh, okay. Not today. In the future, yeah. Could I retroactively sign it from stuff? Are you writing this down? Yes. Oh, okay. All right. Does anybody have any questions on how I got the 20? Are we OK? OK. So now let's just simplify this. Because this is all I need to simplify, guys. I don't need the rest of this. I just need the fourth term. So we have 20. 2x cubed is 2x times 2x times 2x, which is 8x cubed. If you just wrote it like this, you would not get 8x cubed, right? So be careful. So therefore, this is 8x cubed. And then we have negative 1 cubed, which is negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1, which is just negative 1. Now I do 20 times 8, which is 160 times negative 1. So I have a negative 160 x cubed. Answer A on a multiple choice or something like that, right? I mean, basically, that's what you'd be given. Question? 2x cubed. 2x times 2x is 4x times 2x again, which would be 8x. Any other questions? No? 